This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information. This is puzzle number 68 from Sudoku to Go, volume 100, by Soap Opera Digest. Um, this is a hard puzzle, and what I'm going to do is another pop quiz. Um, I know you hated those in school, but uh, uh, don't worry, they're not going to be great. This isn't going to be graded. Uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, fill in the puzzle without talking about what I'm doing, and uh, you see if you can deduce why I place each number where I place it. You can pause the video if you're not if you need extra time. Um, now some of these will be harder than others uh, to for you to figure out why I placed them there. But uh, if you understand where every number is placed, then that'll help you understand the techniques that, that you can use to solve a puzzle of this level. So that'll kind of give you a chance to see whether um, you're picking up on the techniques of Sudoku. Uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have a question and I can answer it for you. Um, also, if you'd like to leave a comment, if there's something that took you a while to figure out or th you think is harder that others may not notice, uh, you could leave a comment about that too. Uh, before we get started, if you'd like to, you could uh, pause the video and take a look and see if you can find some numbers. Um, and at any time, as, as I go on, go along, you've if you uh, are not sure why I placed a number where I did, you can you can pause the video and and, uh, and study it for a minute. So let's get started.
Okay. I hope you followed that okay. Uh, let me point out a couple of things here that I noticed. First of all, they put these the one and four in here and the eight, and those are real easy. We had ones there and a one here, so that you know that was easy. There's fours there, and <clears throat> so that four was easy. Had two eights here already, so that eight. And then um, I noticed these one six twins right here. There's a one here and a one here, and a six here and a six here. So these were one six twins. And from that, I could fill in the rest of that row. Even though I couldn't fill in the one and six, I filled in the rest of the row. And the three and seven here. The three was easy. We had threes there. And then I went over here, uh, found this five with along with this row. That left four, six, eight, and nine in this column. There's an eight and nine here, so I knew these were four and six. And there's a four and six here already, so I did put you know put the four and six in. Um, then later on, after I put this two and three in here, I noticed that there was a we had the one and three here already in this two, so there were ghost twos here, so that helped us solve the two seven twins right there. And uh, <coughs> and then the, from there the rest was. Uh, went pretty easily. Well, I hope that um, helps you in seeing seeing things and understanding different techniques you can use to solve harder puzzles. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.